Welcome back everyone to a rather hot Saturday morning here at the Big Top. It's currently like 9.30. I think we've had one sale. We sold in 10 dogs to a little girl. It was a complete box copy for like four bucks. The reason I want to uh, show you some stuff, guys, we just got a ton of stuff in this week. Some amazing stuff. This also includes that really good trade that I did last weekend as well. So let me show you some of the uh, really amazing stuff that we just got in. First, let's start with the Nintendo stuff. You can see DuckTales, Alfred Chicken, the Flintstones game. No, that's not Dinosaur Peak, but it's the cheaper one. Uh, Battletoads, Mario 3. We've got all three um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. We've got a copy of Jungle Book, Mega Man 3. We have all three of the uh, Castlevania games now, which is really cool. That's some of the stuff we already had. Now, Super Nintendo. Let's see. Uh, the new stuff is Yoshi's... Uh, Island, Mario All-Stars, all three Donkey Kong countries, which is pretty darn amazing. Almost forgot, let me show you this, a boxed immaculate condition of a top loader NES, which was pretty amazing, especially the price we were able to get it for. And here are some of the N64 stuff that we just got in. Uh, Super Mario 64, 007, Dr. Mario, Banjo-Kazooie, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Donkey Kong 64, and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Guys, this is by far the best Saturn lot I have ever gotten in here. Some pretty crazy stuff. You see a box system with a gun. You got Shining Wisdom, Albert Odyssey, Loose, In the Hunt, Complete, a PAL version of Crusader No Remorse. We got Christmas Nights, Japanese version. We have got two Neo Geo Pocket games, Metal Slug 2, and a Sonic game. We got the system. And we got these fairly common games. Again, not too bad. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 is really good. And then this, unfortunately, it is not doesn't have the system in it. It's only got two of the USB uh, controller arcade sticks in it. He is bringing tomorrow the actual system to put in here, so I'll have an extra stick with it as well. Pretty dang crazy, guys. Well, guys, it is 1.30. We're setting at exactly $300. Uh, not too bad so far today, but I'll tell you what, it is just hot as all heck out here today. Sweating like crazy. I think honestly um, here very shortly me and the wife are gonna go to like to Lowe's and look at the portable ACs that we can hook up in our little boot. Put it between us to try to keep ourselves cool because I tell you I'm not sure we can make it like we did last year because it was just so hot out here. Well some of the stuff we've sold recently. We had a um, fellow collector come in and they picked up Alfred Chicken. They picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and Caveman games for the NES. Alfred Chicken is like a $50 game. Uh, kind of crazy. Uh, that was one of the ones we just got in. Actually, so was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 as well. We had a kid with his mom come in. They picked up Mario and Luigi Paper Jam for the 3DS. We sold a Commodore 64C. Uh, that is um, the one that the uh, Tinkerer fixed for me. He fixed two of them. He got one of them fixed uh, and let him keep it for 20 and I'm selling the other one out here for 40 since he uh, fixed them for me. Uh, the picture looks amazing. I will show you here shortly what that looks like. Then we had somebody come in and picked up uh, Tomb Raider 2 and 3 for the PS1 and Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. I'm not sure what system that was for. And they also picked up Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS2. So guys, stay tuned. Um, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. Guys, here is the Commodore 64C. I've got Seawolf in it to show people that it works. I tell you what, the uh, Tinkerer really cleaned it up nicely. This thing looks almost brand new. It is in just amazing condition. And as you can see, I'm using RF. And the picture quality is actually pretty good. Well, guys, it's 4 o'clock. We're getting the absolute hell out of here. It is just blazing hot out here today. Uh, as you can see, I am sweating profusely. Um, we had, like, one big sell from uh, 1.30 to 4. Pretty much was it. There was a few, you know, a few dollars. We sold some Skylanders, like four to five different Skylanders. And a few games, cheap games here and there. But our big sell, we had a family come in. They picked up an Atari 2600 uh, system, the one that was in just immaculate condition with the one controller and the hookups. They got an extra controller for it. I throw five games in. They picked two more up. Then they turned around and picked up an NES from me, picked an extra controller up, and Super Mario Brothers 3. So, guys, we ended up at 480 today. Not bad. So now, guys, stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back, everyone, to a rather hot Sunday here at the Big Top. It's currently noon. Uh, we have had quite a few people come in and buy stuff from us so far. Um, currently, we're sitting at 274. Our big purchase so far is we had a gentleman come in and buy 20 uh, PS1 games from us. He also bought a Genesis. Ended up being about 175. I gave him a 10% uh, discount, which got it down to a little over 150, which was good for him. We then had somebody come in and buy Donkey Kong 64. 
They came back like a minute later and bought GoldenEye 007 for the N64. And we had somebody also pick up uh, Super Mario number 3 for the NES. That was our last copy. Uh, so guys, once things start picking up again, I will let you know. Today we have been very selective in what we took in. This is some stuff that I told the gentleman I uh, promised him I would take in today. He brought it in. He, he brought the system in with the extra controller. It also came with the Mega Pack Volume 1 installed, the cart as well, which was freaking awesome. Amazing condition. Uh, really cool to have this. I know it's not the greatest of systems, but to be able to play Neo Geo cheaply, it's really cool. He also brought me a 3DO. Hooked it up and I couldn't test it completely. I don't have a game here with it, but it did boot up and I used the controller with it and it worked. And he actually threw in a couple of Sega Saturn third-party controllers as well, which was really cool. It's coming up on 2 o'clock, and we are sitting at 589. Had a lot of people come in today, but oh my God, is it hot. <laughs> it's not even summertime yet, and we're cooking. Uh, we are seriously thinking about doing some research this week on a portable AC that we can have between us in our booth. Uh, maybe that'll help uh, keep us cool. I know last year was horrible during the summer, and I can't imagine how bad it's going to be if it's this hot already. Some of the stuff we've sold uh, since the last update, I sold Spyro Ripto's Rage. We sold an N64 controller, brand new, one of the third party ones we sell. Sold the PS1 ONE system. He also took a few games with it as well, a really nice system. Sold a copy of Super Mario 64, then we had somebody else come in and take our other copy of Super Mario 64. They took Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World. Uh, which was really awesome, quite a big sell there. Uh, we took a, uh, we sold a comp, a um, Xbox 360 wired controller, uh, and we sold three uh, 360 games to the same gentleman. We sold Sky Target for the Sega Saturn. The gentleman who brought that stuff you just saw previously, the uh, Neo Geo Gold X and the 3DO, he bought that game. Uh, he also was the one that brought the Sega Saturn box yesterday as well. And we sold. Um, a NES controller with double dragon for the NES. So guys, once things start selling again, I'll let you know. Guys, it's coming up on 4 o'clock and we're getting the heck out of here. We ended up at 6.38. It definitely slowed down in the last couple hours. I think we sold a couple of PS2 controllers, a uh, original N64 red controller, and a couple of NES boxed controllers, some of the aftermarket stuff I had. So now guys, stay tuned for the wrap-up. Well, guys, we are back home. It's about 11 o'clock. We're getting ready to go to bed. A funny thing happened again. Right before we left, we had the lady who picked up the NES system and the Atari 2600 from us yesterday. Came back, got a Gamers Tech Super Nintendo system, which are actually pretty good, even though they're aftermarket. She picked up Donkey Kong Country for that system. She also got three more Atari 2600 games. And she got the, um, the uh, Mario game and Duck Hunt game with a zapper. So that got us to 726 today. Really good. So on Saturday we did 480, Sunday we did 726 for a grand total of 1206, another amazing weekend for us and just those consoles we got uh, this weekend and earlier in the week with the top loader NES, the complete in box Saturn system, uh, the Neo Geo Pocket and the Neo Geo uh, X Gold system were pretty crazy. So guys, thanks again for watching.